Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to actually check out a new Nintendo Switch accessory. This is the little wireless controller. And you can see it kind of has like a, uh, I guess a classic controller vibe from the Wii. The Wii used to have a classic controller like this. This is for the Nintendo Switch. It just came out from PDP. And I'm going to unbox it, take a look at it. It kind of has Super Nintendo controllers and stuff. And it just had a real good retro aesthetic. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and check it out for my channel so if this is your first time coming to this channel you've never been here before hit that subscription button it's down here in the bottom corner the little red thing and click that bell so you don't miss any of my nintendo switch videos as well as the xbox series x stuff and playstation 5 coverage that i'll be doing this upcoming season so let's go ahead and unbox this thing uh, i do like the pdp products in general i think as far as third-party controllers go they usually do a great job of uh, making them and they're pretty much good licensed products and stuff as I struggle to open this box I'm trying to peel the stuff without damaging the, the box too I love the packaging by the way let me let me talk about it you could tell this is high quality you know licensed products it's not just some rinky dinky product from China this is stuff that Nintendo approves personally and uh, it says this works for Nintendo Switch Lite as well. So if you have a Nintendo Switch Lite, you can also use this. It's called the little wireless controller because it's, it's supposedly being touted as something that is perfect for on-the-go gaming. So here we go. We're going to pull this sucker out. And here we go. Nice. Oh, my gosh. This looks solid. It also comes with a USB-C cable, I guess, to charge it and set it up. Supposedly it has up to 40 hours of battery life when it's fully charged. So that's actually really good. Um, and it supports motion control for the games that do have it. Uh, so the features again, um, wireless motion control. You can see, again, it does feel, it does kind of look like the classic controller that was on the Wii. And it has this classic gray and purple type of look to it that just looks phenomenal i actually love the way it looks and the button placement and the joy con placement like look at this it's just it's just really old school like this just feels good in the palm of your hand now to compare it this is a pro controller right here this is the classic little wireless controller it's more or less about the same amount of room it's just dog bone shaped instead of shaped similar to like an xbox controller or whatever so it's a classic design if you grew up playing retro games and stuff like that and you can see there are triggers on top so there there are shoulder buttons up here and then triggers underneath so it does have both uh has the standard home and snapshot plus and minus the nintendo face buttons and most importantly a d-pad and the d-pad actually looks better then the pro controller pad um the pro controller pads okay it just doesn't feel it doesn't feel as solid when you push it you know what i mean like you push down and it just kind of still feels like it's a little little too high i'm um, just pushing this right here i could tell just by looking at it that it feels perfectly sunk in and these feel pretty good too the analog sticks feel really well done so taking a closer look at it i want you guys to look at it since uh showing it from Kind of a far away skew you can see all the details about it right here there's the the sync button the usb c type twist this thing around you can look around so has your standard pro controller features on it including motion control um i'm not sure if there is haptic feedback now i do know um it does not have an nfc reader so if you want to read amiibos and things like that it doesn't have it so that might be a deal breaker for some of you guys but for me i don't even use the nfc reader most of the time so it says the little wireless controller for nintendo switch is the compact companion you need for on the go gaming so it does definitely <laughs> sit a little bit less bulky than than this sucker is you know how many times i had to pack my switch to go out on a road trip or vacation or to a convention and you have to still put this in your bag and it just doesn't fit this looks like it would actually fit into like inside of one of the carrying cases you know how it always has like that little storage compartment 
behind the top like you can just slide it behind the mesh so this looks like it would actually fit perfectly inside of one of those switch controllers it says this pocket size controller lets you pack up the fun in game wherever on the go it has a wireless connectivity of 30 feet which means cable free experience with a 40 hour rechargeable battery so <laughs> that's actually a really good deal uh, motion controls again it's designed for hours of comfortable gaming and it's officially licensed so it's not a cheap little knockoff and it feels very soft in the hands so we're gonna sync this in we're gonna play why not mario brothers super mario brothers and uh see if it works pretty good so here we go transition all right guys so we have it synced up it was really easy to do literally you just wake it up go to the change controller grip push the sync button hold it down and it detected it like that no issues at all syncing it we're gonna play the original super mario brothers on the all-star switch online it feels really good. I love that it feels close together. And holy cow, the buttons and everything from this game this game controller actually feel um, a lot tighter and squishier than the pro controller that I have. If that makes any sense. Like, you guys ever push a button on something and it just doesn't feel as satisfying or solid? Like, this actually feels tighter. Um, it's responding pretty good. I'm using the left joystick. The actual analog stick and it feels like it's responding pretty good like for real like I, I don't feel any lag I feel like I'm breezing through it pretty good uh, the one thing I like about it is that it feels like I have little hands so if it makes sense having like a closer grip um, like this and just having it more tactile like that just makes it feel more satisfying to me I don't know what it is but I just feel like like on the pro controller, there's just there's just too much space like between my left hand and right hand. Having it closer like this, to me, just feels more satisfying. Now I'm gonna use the D-pad, and let's see. I mean, the D-pad works okay. Honestly, I feel the joystick on this one felt ten times better than what the the D-pad feels. But the D-pad feels better than the pro controller. I'll tell you that much so if you prefer to use a d-pad for your retro games and stuff and you're thinking about getting this one the pro controller d-pad is is nothing compared to this one so i do like how responsive the buttons and everything feel it doesn't feel like he's lagging or anything like that so not too bad um honestly pretty impressed with what we have so far with that let's go ahead and try one of the 3d marios and let's see how it fits because honestly it feels pretty spot on again i like having like it's it just feels better having it like a dog bone shaped controller and uh having the buttons a little bit more closer and just kind of like having your hands like this for me it feels perfect the the joysticks themselves feel pretty tight like they don't feel loose um they feel comparable to the actual pro controllers honestly but there's just something about it that it feels a little bit more springy like when you look at when you let go of it it just feels more more springy like look look like if i'm gonna do this i'm gonna move it it doesn't feel as springy as as this one so these feel more springy if that makes any sense the analog joysticks just feel like they have a little bit more spring to them they feel tighter um, the buttons feel a lot more solid than the face buttons of the Pro Controller as well. These these just feel kind of big and lumpy, I guess. These feel nice and quick, quick to hit. Uh, so definitely like the way they feel. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll try Mario 3D All-Stars. We'll play and we'll see how it fits. Maybe, you know, playing a 3D game might actually feel better than the Pro Controller as well. All right, so we're going to play Mario Galaxy mostly because... It does have the motion detection, so this does support motion controls on Switch games that have them. And you can see, controlling the star, it actually feels pretty accurate. In fact, I would probably say it feels a little bit more accurate than the Pro Controller. Only because, again, I feel the Pro Controller just feels a little bulky at times. Holding this with the, you know, the arm things and just... It feels way heavier than the Pro... The, the Pro Controller feels way heavier than this. This still has some weight behind it. But just moving this around just seems like it's a lot slower than moving this one. Like, this just seems faster. Um, now we're using the right analog stick since I didn't do that with the 
first Mario's and it feels like it's responding pretty good as far as the right analog stick goes so yeah not not half bad so far I don't feel any real serious problems with lag or anything so let's try out a stage let's try out the first stage I'm honestly impressed with for a, a wireless controller how well this controller is responding especially with the motion now I don't feel any haptic feedback I don't feel rumble so I don't think that's a feature on here I could be mistaken though so let's let's just see if, if we do have rumble I, I, I didn't recall feeling one so maybe that's one other thing besides the NFC reader but this doesn't have yeah there's no rumble so if you like the haptic feedback there is no rumble on this um, so who knows it does feel pretty responsive though I, I'm okay without 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 rumble I could I could get by without that but uh, overall as a full blown alternative to a poke controller and it feels like a retro style like Super Nintendo or or Wii classic controller it's not half bad. I mean, for a wireless controller, I feel that it is doing pretty good, actually. So. And it does have motion control, so that works. You're able to grab the, the star bit. So, I can get behind this. It feels good. It feels tactile. Um, nice. Everything feels responsive. I don't feel it feeling laggy. And, and again, like I said, I prefer to have my controller dog bone shaped. And, and closer to grip like that and there's just something like the more flat that it feels the better so this is designed with having it portable in mind again this is kind of hard to pack inside of any of your switch carrying cases this one's more flat so it seems like it could actually go into the back of one i wish i had a switch case. oh actually i do have one let's grab it right here and uh so what i mean by putting it in a switch carrying case is Usually in these cases, you have like a little section where it's meshed off, like right here. You can't exactly fit a regular Pro Controller in there and close it, but this one seems like it would fit perfectly inside and still allow you to put your Switch in and close it. So that the fact that it's more flat and smaller, more compact, is a plus for me. So yeah, um, honestly, not a half bad little thing. Um, I'm digging it. Uh, I think it is worth a look. So, tried it out on both of them. Seems pretty good. 40 hours of battery life. Um, doesn't have the NFC reader, but it is available on Amazon. I'm going to leave some links in the description down below. It will be an affiliate link. So, if you check it out and buy it off of Amazon, you actually support the channel without having to pay anything extra. You're shopping anyway. But Amazon, it has... Um, a price of $49.99. It's also available on their website and other retailers. So I'm assuming Walmart might even have it. But guys, I just wanted to share this controller with you. I think this is actually a lot of fun. So I like it. It's a good. I recommend it. And thanks a lot, guys, for always watching. Subscribe for more controller reviews, accessories, stuff like that, Nintendo Switch related content, PlayStation 5, Xbox, Series X, and so forth. Appreciate y'all. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again guys for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing and don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again guys. Peace out.